hello 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 welcome or welcome back to the channel uh man it's finally time to get around to fever part one so this is the first of the fever series of albums and i'm excited to be in this phase i feel like this is what i've heard about a lot of like when they're well maybe that was world the world series um that people say that um they felt their sound started to evolve a little bit um but i already see something i already feel like i hear some things um hearing some things i haven't heard before from them in this era um so as you can see here i have mostly lyric videos for thanks i have the dance practice and then for inception i have a comeback performance it is on the m2 channel i've so far been very lucky with m2 so far i have not had any issues with things being blocked from m2 but in case i do i have uh, recently um published my uh, Pat patreon page um it, and that's where i'm going to start putting anything that i post to youtube that's blocked will go there uh so far just right now i just have a um beanie, beanie reaction um where the MV for one of their songs was completely uh, blocked. So I, when I posted that, it was it was that MV, and then it was a dance practice and a live performance. So since I had two other things on there, I, I posted it to YouTube, and I just had the uh, MV completely blurred. Um, and I just had the link to go and just watch the uncensored <clears throat> version of that on my, my Patreon. Because there's not much going on, I just, you know, I'm not linking it everywhere and all of that. But you guys will know. <laughs> because if I post this to YouTube and it's blocked, I will indeed have it somewhere on, I will have it on Patreon and I will also put that link below. But I have, I already have um, one or two ATs reactions that will be going on the Patreon because part of it was blocked. I already have about two, I think I already have two or three uh, idol videos that would have to go on Patreon because they had content that was blocked. So I'm just, for now, all my Patreon is going to be, it's just a place to put blocked content for people to see. That's it. Um, I won't be getting, getting into tears and anything like that for quite a while, quite a while. I would like to wait until I can have a more reliable, consistent, uh, recording schedule, uh, before I would, um, endeavor you know before i would pursue, pursue something like that that's a little bit more i would feel a little bit more time consuming and, and requires a little bit more commitment than i'm able to make to um reactions right now uh, but anyway i'll just get into this let's see um you know i i did admit that i did not love thanks um i did love the chorus though um as i had said i love the chorus for thanks didn't love the whole song as much, but I love Inception. So I'm excited about watching the performance for that. And also I saw something called Diary um, that did seem very related to this album. And it was like 20 minutes. So I think it's a short film, which that's all I've been wanting a certain group to do. So this is very nice. Uh, if you guys want me to watch that, I will. But if not, maybe it's something I'll just watch in my on my own time because it's like I said, it's 20 minutes. I don't want to record a 20 minute reaction if people are not interested <laughs> in seeing that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go. As I'm in the midst of applying for residency right now, wish me luck. Grammarly has. Twenty ninth of July. I can't believe I'm pausing already. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that I love the atmospheric sounds. Like you heard the sounds, like you hear waves, and you hear the oh, you hear birds chirping. I like that already because it just already sounds like they're on a ship or you know that, that them on an island or something like that. I, I love the continuation of of that throughout their uh, their work. 29th of July, weather is clear. One adult asked me, what is your dream? As if my dream explained who I am. 
When I said I had no dream, the look on the adult's face was like the child with no name. The look was familiar to me. Though studying wasn't much of my taste, I tried my best. Parents were fond of joy when I brought good grades to them. Walking on the same path at the same time, I continued my life with no expression. Many books tell me, look at the stars in the night sky and become the person who shines bright like those stars. But the stars that I looked up in the sky did not shine at all. So I continued to walk, looking down on the floor. Suddenly, a strange thing happened to me. As I was walking, a child came up to me and started talking to me. There's nothing on the floor to look at. Raise your head up. This child was a bit weird. The child looked at me with a bright smile and had a pure glow from its face. But it seems like this child had the same expression on its eyes as me. From that moment, we started to hang out a few times. Turning up the music and dancing together was the most exciting part of our hangouts. For the first time, I actually felt alive. Hearts pounding like it's about to burst out and this tingling feelings coming up from my fingers. I just want to pause to say that I'm like very much um, enraptured by this. <laughs> That's why I'm not saying much. I don't want to miss anything with a group like this, you know. I'm not going to catch everything, but I like to catch what I can. And this is very purposeful dialogue. This is a story. So I'm trying to respect that naturally and pay attention. But the music that came in, those little bitty, those, that bit of instrumental that came in is just so pretty. And it has such a beautiful, subtle feel also as well. That's the kind of thing you would hear behind something like this in any other context, any other piece of media. So this is really nice out and this tingling feelings coming up from my fingertips started to take over me. Was there a moment when I wanted something this bad? One by one, more children started to say my name. The path that I only walked with one another person became a path to many. Mm. Slowly, the word I became ours. Wandering around with this unknown fever, as we look above our heads, stars seem to shine bright today. Uh. <laughs> this looks great. Ugh. That was very nice. Yes. Yes. I love that. I love because I heard it. I heard it at the very end of the, um, uh, the, what do we just, diary, dear diary. Um, I heard a bit of a beat coming in, like right, right at the end there. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so that's just, that's going to very smoothly go into the next song. And I don't know if you guys know this. But on your Spotify settings, at least, I don't know what you're listening to music on, but I know that on Spotify, you can actually go into the settings. You can get rid of the, um, great, greatly reduce or get rid of like the pause between songs. So I recommend that if you're ever listening to an album where the songs flow very well, like they're meant to flow into the other. Um, so that, so this is an instance where that would have been perfect. If you had that pause set at zero in your settings, that Dear Diary would have just would have gone seamlessly right into Fever with no pause. Oh my God, that's so perfect. I'm going to have to remember that to do that myself when I listen to this album. All right, so let's get back into it. Also, let me put on English captions. I don't know why they're in Arabic. <laughs> that's so random. Well, it's, oh, because there is no English? Oh, what am I doing? Uh, there's no need for captions at all because it's a lyric video. Got it. Sorry. Couldn't compute. <laughs> uh, 
love this. That threw me, that threw me way off. This is, hold on. Most replay, out of confusion? I'm at, I, <laughs> that sounded like Mingi to me. I apologize, Sung Hua. I, uh, I apologize. I, it really sounded like Mingi to me. And I know the lyric videos can be wrong, but I also know that I'm still very new here. And I have not heard what everybody can, everybody can do with their voice, okay? So I am also aware of that. That's just, it threw me. It's just, it threw me. And I think maybe it threw a few people. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. I'm catching up. So what's really happening is that I never paid enough attention to Sung Hwa's voice, period. Um, because I am here, I'm now, now that because of what I heard earlier in the song, now I'm really tuned in, I'm really locked into it. So now I'm getting that his voice is just deeper than I think that I thought it was. <laughs> okay. Keep that going. Good for you. <laughs> um, so fever. I love that. Um, and I really feel like it's giving this so <laughs> if there is one term that I felt like could sum up that whole um song and especially if that song itself the song itself is called fever 
uh, if it's representative of what this arc is about. If, if I could wrap it up in one term, it would be growing pains. Because it seems to be just like based on this, um, like the, the Dear Diary intro, um, which feels like introducing part of a story, like a new, a new chapter, a new part of a story. And then the lyrics of this one, which is just, it, it sounds like, you know, just when you're young and you kind of feel like, you know, you've been, you've been set on fire, like in terms of just, you put this pressure on yourself to make something of yourself. You've got to suddenly, you know, you turn 18, all of a sudden you've got to make huge, huge decisions about your life. You've got to know what you want to do with your life, what kind of career that you want, what kind of person you want to be, what's your, what are your beliefs, your, your political ideologies, um, like, who are you? Like, it's just, you spend, all, you spend 18 years of your life, I mean, or, you know, I, in America, that's what's considered a legal adult. You spend 18 years of your life with everyone telling you what to do and how to think and what to feel. And then suddenly you're 18 and now it's like, oh, well, it's up to you. And you have almost, you don't have any help. No one's going to hold your hand anymore. So you feel this, sometimes you just feel this urgency to just become a person <laughs> right away. And you make all these mistakes because you don't know how to do it. And you keep falling down. You try to learn how to pick yourself up, self up and be independent. And at some point, you just have to understand you're only human. It's not going to come together like that. It's just not going to. You're going to make mistakes. You got to let it go. Just take life as it comes. It is, it's not going to be perfect. You're not going to make great decisions all the time. Slow it down. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so that just kind of gave me like that feeling because I also understand that a lot of their arc is very uh, directly related to <clears throat> what it means to be a teenager and like what it means to be youthful and to, to be to be a youth and to be uh and, and all the angst and um you know the angst and, and then the adversity that just come with just trying to grow up um in those expectations, sometimes unfair expectations placed on you. So I felt like that was a really, for me, that felt like a very pointed kind of song. And, and, um, and I really appreciated the lyrics to that one. Okay, so thanks, dance practice. This is exciting. Because I had watched them just dance in a minute. <laughs> That most replay? Yeah. Everyone's got taste.
I think he was doing a whole bunch of stuff I liked right there and I missed it. Here we go. Yes. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. I got a whole new appreciation for coming into this bridge. Actually, I didn't go that far enough, but yeah. <laughs> So hype. So you miss a um, you're fake meat. No one wants you, no one likes you. I don't even know anything about you. I don't wear makeup. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So funny thing about this song, for some reason it's does anyone know like if you are on Station Head, um and you like a, you like a song on Station Head. You're connected through your Spotify, right? So if you like a song on Station Head, um, I guess that means that you've liked that song. If you just go on Spotify, you're, it's going to show you liked it. That must be what happened because there was a um, like an AT Dreamcatcher Station Head uh, party, and I literally would put every time it was going to a, an AT song, I would put the um, I would put the my phone on mute, or I would just turn the volume all the way down because I didn't want to be spoiled. Um, well, if it was a song I hadn't heard, I didn't I didn't want to be spoiled, but I was liking them. <laughs> but I was hitting like because like that's like the whole you know it, it it's part of the engagement of of doing it you know getting the streams, but also I feel like also just getting the likes up on the songs. So I was liking all the songs. So I was so like shocked because I didn't know what happened because I went and pulled this album up on Spotify and I'm like, I, I never heard this song. Why is it? Why is there a like, you know, showing that I liked it? <laughs> so I'm really excited because people seem to really love this when it, when it came up. Uh, like a, a lot of people had been waiting for it during that station hit uh, streaming party or whatever. So, yeah, I'm ready to, to do it again. Also, uh, going back to uh, thanks. Wow. So. I knew I loved the chorus, but going into that, like just that first part of the bridge, um, I love that as well. It's like I love a, a lot of pieces of the song, but for some reason, when it comes together, maybe I'm just, I don't know what's stopping me from the verse. Something about the verse just feels, and again, this could be, and I understand it's something people point out as well with ATs is that a lot of uh, things about their um, discography is a lot of things about their discography is kind of story based and stuff like that. So even some of the ways some songs sound can be related to that. And I totally accept that. Um, but that and that may be why um, that maybe there's a reason, but the verses in Thanks just sounds quite sort of just not as cohesive, like they sort of choppy, like it doesn't or that just can be personal taste. Maybe I just usually prefer things that are more melodic and sound uh, really str strung together in a seem more seamless manner. It could be that, but it also could be that the song just will grow on me. Um, it doesn't happen often. Usually I just love songs or I just, they're not my style, but occasionally a song will grow on me. And it might be that considering I feel like I like like 65% of the song or some kind of dumb percentage I can come up with out of nowhere. This area feels like I like most of the song. I feel like other pieces will click into place the more I, lis I listen to the song because I love the chorus to that one so much that I'm going to listen to it just for that. So anyway, on to, to the beat. Oh, 
That's about right. Pardon me, ATs. I do have to check my phone just to make sure nothing urgent came up. Because I am on my lunch break, <laughs> as usual. I'm at work, but I'm technically on my lunch. Why is it mostly... Most re <laughs> is this a thing? Is wherever I go is the most replayed? Okay. <laughs> they have a they have a whisper song okay Ooh. oh this is so old school the bail sound hi i got you now I wasn't expecting the auto tune there at all. I know that goes i know that part right there i know they're going in in the court on the choreography sorry that's weird okay anyway so i was gonna say <laughs> is i know that they're going like absolutely wild on the choreography on that part because it's like they already go hard anyway with the choreography and then it's in, in the song it says go crazy and it says dance like <laughs> I so I already know that um, in the future I very much look forward to a live performance of that one. Overall, how I felt about to the beat, I don't know. Um, I think that I loved the instrumentation more than anything else in that one. I it felt so old school. They have some really old school hip hop elements to it, like they're ringing the the bells, that bell sound, and there is something else there too that like ooh, like whatever that kind of thing you get in like old school hip hop a lot. I really appreciate it. I really like the instrument, uh, the instrumentation uh, in that one. I don't know. I, I, I felt like the song went by me. So sometimes I feel like with AT songs is there, they can be so all over the place. Um, they have so many unexpected moments that I don't, I don't process them properly. I don't feel, I feel like the song goes by me and I need to catch up. So that may be, that may be one of them. And again, I don't listen to music like this too often. Um, I don't know what this uh, specific uh, specific subgenre is called, but I don't listen to this style very often outside of AT. So for me, it feels like I'm still really getting used to that. 
um, and hearing it in the way that it's meant to be heard. So, but I, but I love the instrumentation of that one, and I had a good time. Um, no auto tune. I know. I feel like it. It feels like I'm saying something insulting, but truly, it did amuse me in that one because it was just in places that were so, um, some places that were unexpected, and like <laughs> the affect of it felt. I don't know. It it just it amused me. I don't know. I I'm sure some people will be upset by that, but um, but listen. I kind of I have a really strange relationship with auto tune, so <laughs> that's just. I'm very hyper aware of it and how it's being used. That's just, and I have sometimes very um, knee jerk responses to it. And that wasn't even a negative one. I, I mean, I didn't say I disliked it. It just caught me by surprise. And then because of who it came from and how it was used, I was just not ready for it. And I was like, oh, I mean, it was used throughout, but you know, the part where it says make you say wow or whatever, th that part, that was the par part in particular. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Because I expected him to just hit like a high note there and just do it. And so I think I just, I was so ready for it. And then it was something else. But anyway, on to Inception, which I love. So let me not ramble anymore and just get into this because I, I love it. So definitely one of my new favorite uh, title tracks. I love this intro. They look good. Chills. <laughs> Oh my god, I love him. Mm -mm. Come on, just you need to like this. Like it, please. 
Just give him a minute. Is Sun Hwa just showing his abs as part of the choreography that is cracking me? <laughs> You're killing me. Oh, it's that song. Oh, my God. I remember this very well from the guy. Oh, there is gaming chills. <laughs> Oh, love that. But they fell to their knees. That was serious. That was serious for them. That was very serious for them. And serious for me too, actually. Okay, so that performance was fantastic. It's like, first of all, I feel like I got bias wrecked by my bias. So that's a little bit, so that's how that feels. You know, people say that and I'm like, what? <laughs> but no, I, I get it. I get it now. Because I feel like I haven't really been pointing him out. You know, because I feel like after a while, you, it's way too soon for that to have happened, so I don't think that's really what happened. But I think after a while, you start to take your bias for granted because you're like, yeah, I know you do that. I know you look like that. I know you sound like that. You are that. You are everything. You, you as expected. You are as expected, you know? So you're just kind of like not so taken by things you should be taken by with your bias, whereas... The member that's actually your bias record is the one that's kind of getting your attention because they're the ones catching you by surprise. So you're kind of like, oh, yeah, like for me, it's Mingy. <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh, you know, like all that. And then, you know, I've got San over there. And, you know, he's just being incredible, incredible. But I'm just kind of like, that's what you're supposed to be. So <laughs> I feel like this is like a moment where you just like, no, look at me, me. I'm it. I'm it. And I apologize. He, he is it for me. He is it. He is everything. So I do apologize. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am back. <laughs> All right. Good little boy. This is very wild South Southern thing to be doing here for a Korean group. Little, little, good little boy. Good little boy. Okay, good little boy. Let's see. I mean, goddamn. I mean, they were like, let's start the song. Shut up. Stop talking about it. Sorry. <laughs> like, no, like it just went. Right. Oh, my work laptop was ringing. <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? You, you guys probably didn't hear it. But anyway, yeah, I was just, the, the song, there's like no intro really. It's like, let's go. Okay. I'm locked. Going, where are we going? Okay, yeah, that's where they go. Everything is just a 
Even there, there was no Mingi. I gotta stop pretending that Mingi is only remember with a deep voice. Ooh. Hold on. So this is the chorus? Is that the pre chorus? Hold on. I'm confused, but I like it. No. Ken is not one of his best friends. We're just kind of respect. What moves to say? If it's nice, we play it twice. Yeah. acoustic guitar man I, I, this was so unexpected for me but I guess it's the actual chorus and so I <laughs> so, wow Bringing it down from the bridge. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was wonderful. I heard that note back there. I am so happy that they say a good little boy, not good little boy. <laughs> so, yeah, that. For me, wait, what? This is this the last song? No. Wait. I can't, I don't want to do that. I can't believe really this is the last song. Well, anyway, I loved that. <laughs> that was wicked fun. I love that song. I don't know, I just, it went somewhere I didn't expect it to go. And, and you saw my face because I was like, what I thought was that first part, what I thought was initially, like, I thought that was the chorus. I was like, oh, okay. So that's, that's where they usually go for the chorus. That's great. You know, it's like, it's good, but it's where, it's what I expected. But I don't even know now what even happened to that. I don't know if that ever came back. Maybe that was the pre-chorus. I don't know. But what actually ended up, I guess, being the chorus was like something a lot more, um, it's a little, it was leaning a little bit more towards the rock area and, and just, delighted me he had an acoustic guitar out of nowhere that i wasn't expecting that was just I, that was an unexpected journey of a song um and i love that so anyway i guess this is the last song one day at a time uh, unless i'm forgetting one which i have done <laughs> i think this is it uh okay yep well 
So let's finish this album. Starting very well. Exactly. Ooh, I like to feel it up. Me. <laughs> okay. Talk that talk. Wow, is this gonna be all in English? I love this. I just, you know, I don't know how long it's going to, you know, maybe it'll change up. But I like this very, I feel like they took a route of like, you know how often you have a pretty hype kind of album, um, pretty upbeat album. Usually it's tapered down with the ballad to end. But I like this instead, because this is like, this feels very R contemporary R&B-ish. And I really like that approach to bringing down the album to, to wrap it up as opposed to a ballad, simply because I am not a ballad person. Uh, not saying it's a bad idea. It's, it's a great idea. In fact, I'm just not a ballad person. <laughs> so I appreciate this more or or a, a, like an acoustic sort of uh, a tempo rock ballad. I, I appreciate it well, but this is also very nice. beautiful song. The message is so beautiful. Is Mingy going to come in really aggressive? He did it. Good job. Let it I prefer to just, you know. <laughs> mm. Love his head voice. That's right, come in gentle, you can do it. But you can't live without that auto tune, I know that's right. Be true to yourself. <laughs> because it's that uh, rain is pouring but it never there is a ridiculous um well not maybe not a storm but it is raining ferociously <laughs> outside i'm like i don't know is this really is this gonna end i, I don't know okay <laughs> it was just so funny that that would even be a line in a song in, in a, a day when it's i'm recording and it's raining like this Oh, God, Sin. Yes. Sin, which... I always say Sin. Let me go back a little bit. I always say Sin, but it is maybe Sun. So there is... Someone did tell me... Actually, a few people have told me by now that there is a video with them pronouncing their names, and I desperately need to get to that um, because there is a reason that I rarely mention names or say names or call out members out by name other than Mingy, because I've been told several times I am pronouncing that correctly. Um, 
But other than him, I really don't say their names that much, and I would like to, but I don't want to uh, say it wrongly. So I do need to get to that video, and I'm not going to react to it. I'm just going to listen, just going to watch it on my own time as preparation because it's something I should have done, but I forgot because that's what I do. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So smooth, so smooth. I wish they actually brought that last part back after after letting the instrumental kind of do its thing for a little while, let it write. I wish they actually brought the very latter part of the chorus back, but that's not a complaint. It just would have been a bonus. Okay, so it is over. Um, I have. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. I think that I don't I I really think this is going to be a rare moment where my favorite song on the album is in fact a title track because I absolutely love Inception and it's so funny how rare that happens. I usually there's it's usually always a B-side that is my favorite. But this time around it's Inception for sure. I really love um I, I can never keep the title. <laughs> I can never get the, the song titles. I can never keep them in my head. I, uh, oh, yeah. Good little boy. Loves good little boy. <laughs> and Fever. So I don't know. I don't I don't think I can rank them. I feel like I'm so torn. Inception is my favorite for sure. But Fever, uh, Good Little Boy, and... Well, Fever and Good Little Boy. Though, as far as what my favorite beast fight is, would probably be like one of those. Um, might be fever. Even that's but one day of time I love so much too. Why decide? A great album, a W album, another one. Just great stuff. Great stuff. Um, okay, so I'm finally going to end this here. Thank you guys so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you would like to. Up to you. I have a Discord server. Please do. Um, join the Discord. And for one, please join the Discord because I would like some recommendations of like variety content or something else I can watch to sort of get to know their personalities. I think I'm at that point where I'd like to do that. Um, so you can do that. And that would be great if ATs fans did that. But I may just go ahead and find something on my own. Um, if if it just so happens that this video just doesn't reach as many fans, that's fine. I'll pro probably just discover stuff on my own, which is also great. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Be happy and be healthy. And I'm sure I will, will be back soon-ish <laughs> with more ATs. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again. And peace.